There we go, that's the end. The Rosetta mission has ended. The spacecraft is now right down there on the surface of the comet and it's not coming back. I'm here with some of the people who've been really behind this mission from the very beginning. So, how do you feel now, Matt Taylor? Um, it's bittersweet today. We, we've lost something that's part of our life. We've lost a family member, but we know that we have all of the pieces of the puzzle to go forward and solve the mysteries of the solar system with Rosetta, which is what we were supposed to do. It's about science. Now, let's have that continue. But it's still sad that we've lost a family member. Um, just to your right is Rami Elmari, who is one of the team that works on those images, those fantastic images that we get of the surface of the comet. What's going to happen now with all of this science that you've got? Well, we, first of all, we need to actually make sure that these images are to the, the best quality possible. It's going to be very interesting to us because we'll be able to uh, look at these images, compare them to what we had, for instance, from the Rolls camera and from the Philae lander while it was landing at a very similar terrain but at a different location. And we'll be able to actually say something about the degree of homogeneity of this mobile dusty unit. Marvellous. And actually over here, I'm going to come back to you in, in a second, but over here we have the younger generation of the Rosetta whole experience, the big project. We've got the older generation here, Roger Maurice Bonney, who was there right at the beginning. Tell us about the beginning of Rosetta. Well, this, this mission uh, began uh, by a call for ideas to the whole scientific community in 1983. In 1984, uh, appeared on our table a mission called uh, Comet Nuclear Sample Return mission, which was either an asteroid or a comet. It took, it took uh, 10 years uh, before we could really uh, design the mission according to what Rosetta is uh, today. Um, I must say that at the beginning, people were not very, very impressed by this idea of going to a comet. A comet is just a piece of rubble. Why, why should we go there? When we see today all what we have learned, it was worth the trouble and worth the dream. <laughs> And just to my left here is Kern Hertz, who was the person who's really at the forefront of the whole Philae lander experience. Um, what's it like for you today? Yeah, it's uh, strange. The last landing that I experienced was two years ago when Philae landed, very full with emotions and, and positive feelings. And now you notice that people are happy. Everybody's very pleased with the huge success of Rosetta, but also sad that it's ending now. The communication, the interaction with the colleagues on a weekly basis, daily basis. So this is a, it's a strange day, yes. Marvellous. Well, thanks to everybody for joining me here at ESA's Operations Centre in Darmstadt in Germany. The message coming out of this room is that the mission may be over, but the Rosetta science will continue for decades to come. I'm Jeremy Wilkes in Darmstadt, Germany for Euronews.